Hi boys and girls, it's me Miss May again. Welcome to another writing lesson. Today we are going to do our very last animal habitat writing. We've already done the ocean, the polar habitat, and the rainforest. Do you remember what the last one is? It's somewhere really hot and dry. Hmm. Do you remember what it is? Good, the desert. All right, now let's take a look at what it looks like at the desert. All right. Now remember, if you want to pause this page, you can look for these different animals hidden in the picture. It's showing ants, rattlesnakes, scorpions, tarantulas, grasshoppers, woodpeckers, jackrabbits, tortoises, gila monsters, and coyotes. I also see lots of sand and rocks and cactuses. All right, so let's remember what we need to get out when we do our writing lessons. We're gonna start with our writing journal. So go ahead and grab that out. We also need your sight word list, your alphabet chart, and your star bubble paper. Now remember, if you don't have a color copy, yours will be in black and white, and we will trace the colors together. Okay, remember to always have two pencils, just in case one breaks, your spaceman stick, and a green crayon, a yellow crayon, and a red crayon. Okay? All right, remember, I'll be writing in markers so that you can see. So let's get started. First things first, the first thing I do is always the same. I pick up my pencil and then I write my name. All right, we always start with our topic. So please get your green crayon and trace the topic rectangle in green. Remember, which habitat is our topic today? The desert. Okay, so we'll use my book to help us write the word desert. Okay, help me spell it. D E S E R T. Good job. All right, now we need to come up with a topic sentence for the desert. Now remember, our topic doesn't have any details about it, it just tells you what we're writing about. And what are we writing about today? The desert. All right, I'm gonna get my mini sight word sheet to help us, just in case we need it. Now remember, we always start at the top left, and we go left to right, top to bottom, one word at a time. We begin with a capital and end with an ending mark. All right, let's see. Let's write, I see the desert. Okay. I like the word I, and remember we always start with a capital, capital I. And then, what do we need after every word? A space, so we know when our new word begins. I, C, spell it with me, S, E, E. Good, then we need another space. I, C, the, T, H, E. And another space, oops, I'm out of room. I need to drop down, wrap around. I see the desert, and I'll just copy from our topic. D, E, S, E, R, T. Good job, I see the desert. Now what do I need at the end of my sentence? An ending mark, today we'll have a period. Okay, great job. Now, what color do I need to underline our topic sentence? Good, green. I see the desert. Very nice. Okay, next up is our star idea. Our star idea is yellow. Please get your yellow crayon and trace the star in yellow. Now our star idea is gonna be the animal that we choose to talk about that lives in the desert. So let's remind ourselves what animals live in the desert. Hmm, lots of different animals. I think I'm gonna choose, hmm, ooh, a scorpion. I'm gonna choose a scorpion, so I'm gonna draw that in my star. You don't have to choose a star, 
and you can choose any animal you would like that lives in the desert. All right, now remember, I'm gonna try my best to draw my scorpion. Draw its tail and its stinger. I'm gonna have some claws here. All right. Okay, now I need a star idea sentence. Your star idea sentence could be about scorpions or a different animal. So it'll say blank, live there. All right, now I'm gonna try to write the word scorpion. So I'm gonna need my alphabet chart to help me. Okay, help me sound out scorpion. S Ooh, I hear an S. All right, let's highlight the S. And remember, since it's a new sentence, I need to start with a capital. Scorpions. There we go. Scorpions. Oh, out of room. Drop down, wrap around, live. Oh, a. Live. live. Remember to do a space for a new word. There. Ooh, I hear our digraph. T H. T H. A. R. Period. Don't forget your ending mark because we're done with that sentence. Scorpions live there. Now, what color are we going to underline that sentence? Good, yellow for our star idea. Scorpions live there. Great. All right, now what's next? We've done our topic, we've done our star idea, and now it's time for our shooting star detail. That will be red. Get your red crayon out and go over your detail. All right, now remember your detail must be about your star idea. So if you wrote about scorpions, it must be about scorpions. If you wrote about a snake, the detail needs to be about the snake. Hmm, let me think about scorpions. Ooh, I know they have a big stinger and they can sting you. That's what I'm gonna write about. So remember, draw your picture that highlights your detail. Okay, so I'm gonna have my scorpion here with his tail and his stinger showing that it can sting you. All right. So let's flip over to our sight word card. They. Remember, you need to start with a capital after you appear. They. They can sting you. T-H-E-Y. Oop, I'm out of room. Drop down, wrap around. They can. C-A-N. Space. Ooh, sting. We're going to have to sound that one out. Hmm. Sting. S Ooh, and then ing. That's one of our digraphs. What three letters say ing? Good. I N G. They can sting you. You is a sight word. Let's find it. There we go. Y O U. Exclamation mark. Yikes. They can sting you. All right. And what color am I going to underline that sentence? Good. Red. They can sting you. All right, we're down to our very last sentence, our conclusion. Please get your green out again, and you'll just trace your concluding sentence box. Now remember, we don't need to write anything. We're just going to repeat our topic. Our topic is the desert. So we need a concluding sentence about the desert. You could repeat what you wrote before, I see the desert, or you could change it up a little bit. I think I'm going to change it to, I like the desert. All right, here we go. There's I, and remember, always start with a capital after your ending mark. I, space, like, space, the, space, and then we'll just copy the word desert again. And 
unending mark. All right, good job. Now what color are we gonna underline our last sentence? Good, green. I like the desert. Okay, now let's reread it to make sure that it makes sense. Read it with me, please. I see the desert. Scorpions live there. They can sting you. I like the desert. Great job. Now let's make sure we have all four sentences. Let's count the colors. One, two, three, four. Now if we have four sentences, we need to have four capitals. Let's count the capitals. One, two, three, four. And if we have four sentences, we also need four ending marks. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Good job. All right, the last step will be on the back. Draw your animal that you chose living in their habitat. So let's see. Let's see what details you could add to your picture. We need to have sand, rocks, cactus, and different animals that live in the desert. All right, friends, see you next time.